So in my previous video, we built or used Orogen with open source LLM to build an application. Just comparing the cost of open API keys that is quite expensive. All right, so in today's video, we are going to build a multi-agent conversation framework leveraging the LLM open source LLM capabilities. Okay, so just a brief breakdown of how that works. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a um, conversation that flows between multiple agents and also has the existence of assistant agent and user proxy agent. Okay, so the group chat manager is a chat manager agent that can manage a group chat of multiple agents. And as you can see, there is an interaction that goes on in here where the user proxy agent can take on instructions. Also, if you say human input mode is never, it means that you don't want any um, intervention of any human input. And if you say always, it means that it should or require an input from a human, okay? And the assistant agent is act as a, an AI assistant using the LLM by default. All right. So we are we have a bunch of use cases here that you can go through that. I'm going to put the description below and also a bunch of examples that you can explore with that. So I've already tested out this um, multi-agent with the open source LLM in building a SaaS solution that is leveraging multiple agents and assigning um, attacks to them. So we have already built that. So I have, in my previous video, I showed how to download this LM Studio for the project and how it's, you can set it up. Okay, so depending on your system, you can go in there and just select or download whatever or whatever system you have. Okay, so when that is done, it should take you to here where we have the UI with tons of models that are in here, open source models from Hugging Face. All right, so the next thing is you just type in your preferred model. So I'm going to say supply. When I hit enter, it takes me to the bunch of models that has the GGUF, that is the quantized version. Okay, so you can just type select any model that you want to use. Okay, and you just go in here and you can download your preferred model. So in my use case, I downloaded the GGUF for the Q3. So in this case, I will be compromising on the accuracy of my model and the output that it would come out from that. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is to set up the server. So, so to make sure you have it downloaded, you can go to this folder and as you can see, I have it here downloaded from the block. Okay, so the next thing is, so you can even chat with it. You can go here, so as you can see, it's been up, um, downloaded. You just go in here and you can type your question. Okay, and yeah, it's going to give you a straight answer to that. I've already illustrated that in a previous video. Okay, so to set up the, to set up the server, what we have to do is, okay, so before we get into that, let's make sure we have the, let's go into VS Code to set up our Autogen. So we are going to be using the requirements that is to set it up. So we install Pi Autogen. So before you do that, you go to your terminal. Let me just pull this up. 
Tell me now. Oh, want to say? Yep. Install dash r requirement of txt. So when I hit enter, it's going to give me. It's going to install all the required packages. So I have that installed already. So. And the next thing is, let's set up the code. So this is, I'm going to walk you through how this was set up. So we are going to import the assistant agent, the group chat manager, the user proxy, like what we actually talked about. And we're going to need the agent chat. We import the group chat just to establish like a group chat. Okay, so the next thing is let's set a config. This is where we are going to need to set up the server from the LM Studio. So it is going to be running the model from the LM Studio. Okay. All right, so let me show you how this works. Okay, so you make sure you have your server port to be one, two, three, four. And you make sure you have this on. That is the cross origin resource sharing. And we need to, the request query should be on. Okay, and now we are going to need this, the HTTP. Okay, so we got to, so we just paste it here. That is the API base. The API type is going to be OpenAI. The API key is going to, going to be called to now. We don't need the key, okay? All right, so what we want to do is in order to run it, we let's click on start server. So it's loading the model, as you can see. All right, so as you can see, it started. The server is on. So when we get in here, we have it on, all right? So it's been connected to this endpoint. So we set up the config and we are going to pass the config list, the seed of for reproducibility, reproducibility, going to do it 42, the request time 600, and we set our temperature to zero. So this is, we are going to build a SaaS solution. So I already tested it out. Okay, so we are going to need the admin. Okay, and we we are going to say that name is equal to admin. We don't need any human intervention or human input. So we are going to say never. And the system message is going to, let's put in a system message. We say reply terminate if the tax has been solved at full satisfaction, otherwise reply continue. Or give me a reason why it can be solved. And we are passing the LLM config to be equal to the LLM config. Okay. And the course execution config, we are going to set that to false. And we are going to need the, so to set up, so to, to build a SaaS product, we, we are going to need this agent. We are going to need the admin, the marketing, the sales, the planner, the, the product, and the critic. Okay. So we are going to be assigning a role to each of them and to get their input. Okay. It is pretty exciting. Okay. So when we get to it, just like you have a company and you are pushing tax to each of the departments. So this, so for the marketing team, we are going to say the marketing, we are going to give a tax. You adhere to an approval plan and develop a marketing strategy for your SaaS product. Okay. So the goal of the um, the solution or the SaaS solution is to develop a SaaS solution designed to streamline and enhance supply chain management for businesses. Okay, we want to assign um, these tasks to these teams to help us get or build this solution. Okay, so when we get to the sales, we are saying that we are passing a name to sales, name sales, and we want to give a system message. And we are saying that sales, 
you execute an approval, approved plan and formulate a sales strategy for your SaaS solution. And the next one is planner. We propose a plan and it iteratively refine it based on the feedback from the admin and cricket and critic until it obtains admin approval. So we begin by providing a clear explanation of the plan. Okay. And you specify in which steps are carried out by the marketing, sales critic, and product team. So we pass the LLM config in here. And the next thing is we we, we need a product team. You they are gonna head to an approved plan and ensure the accurate implementation of the specification for the SaaS based product. And we assign critic. She totally reviewed the plan and claims from other agents and offer feedback. Okay, so the next thing is to, we create a variable called a group chat. All right, so it's going to hold the agents all together. And it, we are passing the message and the max round that it should go. We can give it more than that because I don't really, um, <laughs> it's free from the free um, open source. So I don't have to pay for that. I can give him do it more. And the manager is we we create a like a manager to take care of the group group chat. So we say group chat manager. All right, so we pass the group chat and the LLM. And we now assign that to that um, the manager. And we are saying that we develop a SaaS solution designed to streamline and enhance supply chain management for that. All right, so let's run it and see. Okay, so let's check if it's on, it's still on. So I'm gonna say, Python app, search the buy. Okay. Yeah, so let me hit enter. Let me pull this up for us to see. Oh, perfect. So as you can see, is running. All right, so each of them is assigning. Whoa, that is so credible. So as you can see, it's saying that we develop a SaaS solution designed to streamline and enhance supply chain management for businesses. So sales, sales to the chat manager. So the software should in, include features such as inventory tracking, order management, supply communication and analytics to optimize supply chain performance. The user interface should be intuitive and easy to navigate with customable dashboard and reporting. All right, so I this, this really makes sense and this is so awesome. So as you can see, the agents are just interacting between each other, okay? And as you can see, the marketing is help businesses optimize their supply chain management using our SaaS solution. We will also gather feedback from customers to continuously improve the software and meet their evolving needs. And the product to come in overall, this SaaS solution has the potential to significantly improve supply chain performance for businesses, resulting in increased efficiency, re reduced cost, and okay. So as you can see, the planner has also um, also given the input to the marketing team, to the sales team, to the critic, and the product team. All right, so as you can see, this is so awesome. And the critic team also giving out the development. Um, <clears throat> critic also giving out to a development team, support team, the finance team. Overall, this SaaS solution has the potential to significantly improve supply chain performance for businesses, resulting in increased efficiency, reduced cost, and improved overall satisfaction. Oh, so as you can see, there are tons of information that there that shows the interaction between different agents and their input. Right, that is so awesome. Yeah, yeah, hi. Okay. So review projections based on the market research feedback. We anticipate generating 5 million 
<laughs> in revenue within the first year of launching the software, we expected to generate 10 million review revenue by the end of the second year with a 20% annual rate thereof. Okay, so we was able to generate up to this point. Okay, so keeping that we should, I, yeah, keeping that which can bear in mind to improve the results is uh, one observation, two observations is to maybe look at the improving or refining the prompt that, that was put in there. Okay, so you can optimize or uh, refine the prompt. Okay, that would improve the performance even more and also look at um, look at other models you can just go into exploring other models because i downloaded the um, smaller size they are yeah i use the q3 km ggf and it even gave me a good outcome yeah so you can just go ahead and play with it and um, yeah give me your feedbacks okay so um, this will be the end of the video I uh, hope you like this video I'm going to attach the link so you can grab it um, don't forget to subscribe and share and see you in the next one